السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته سبحان الله we thank and praise Allah he has brought us to a juncture where we can speak about the seven words of the Quran and their opposites what do we mean by the seven words these are the only words in the entire Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has qualified by stating uh, Allah you have Allah you have Allah loves Allah loves uh, subhanallah so this is a teaching I received from my own uh, Murad uh, my my teacher uh, his name is Imam Fodir Drahmi of the Jahanke scholars of West Africa alhamdulillah uh, his lineage extends to Sayyidina Abu Bakr <coughs> and they come from uh, a very um, dedicated noble family of scholars mashallah men and women both of them alhamdulillah so I had the great honor of being his murida and studying with him visiting also their uh, ancestral lands and uh, members of their lineage alhamdulillah and after I completed my uh, suluk with, with him then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also designated that I uh, also teach what I know and Allah teaches us subhanallah and hence why we have the Irfa foundation so this particular teaching of the seven words uh, this is something I was uh, I received from Imam Fode and um, it has been a foundational guiding light in my life and it is my uh, great honor uh, to pass that on and I hope Allah is pleased with us in our service so inshallah for this recording we will speak about the seven words Allah loves and then if Allah gives us permission and tawfiq later on we will talk about the seven opposites. So knowing what Allah loves is very important so you can strive throughout your life to reach any one of these seven words. But I think equally important is knowing what Allah does not love or what He, in English we don't say does not love, we usually say hates. Huh? Uh, the polar opposite of loving is uh, Come, it has these are things you must uh, stay away from. But Allah does not love you. Must wherever you find it in yourself, you must work immediately to eradicate it. Wherever you find it in other people, you must give them nasiha. And if they fi if you find that they are not listening, then you must stay away because to be associated with or close to something Allah dislikes or Allah has said in the Quran in very clear terms, very clear, very strong words. In Allah la yuhib, verily Allah does not love. None of us should go anywhere near that. If we can have the whole universe between us and that, we are safe. Alhamdulillah. So these seven words in the Quran, <coughs> they come 16 times. I've made some notes on the whiteboard, so we'll go to that. Right? They come uh, in two uh, structures. One, Inna Allah yuhib, verily Allah loves. Verily Allah loves. This structure, um, this structure comes nine times in the Quran. You'll say, Inna Allah yuhib. Allahu yuhib, Allahu yuhib comes 16 times. Right? So this nine is part of that 16. So other than Inna Allah yuhib, there are another. Uh, seven times where Allahu Yuhib will come, usually in the form of Wallahu Yuhib, right? Wallahu Yuhib and Allah loves. Me. So, what are those words? I think you can see. Of course, I think it will be a, uh, it'll probably be right side left for you. It will be not, it will be mirrored for you. So, we will have to see if we can switch this if Allah gives us tawfiq, inshallah. <coughs> so, the first one. Al-Muhsineen. Huh? 
al muhsinin the those of ihsan people who are muhsin inna allah yuhibbul muhsinin then second one the first one actually comes in five five sentences in the quran twice in surah maida once in surah baqarah once in surah ali imran the second one in Allah, you have but Tawabin, where you have but Mutahirin. So these two words actually come in one ayah. In Allah, you have but Tawabin, where you have but Mutahirin. This is ayah 222, Surah Baqarah, very easy to remember. Right? Now, Mutahirin, in Allah, you have but Mutahirin, also comes on its own in Surah Tawbah, ayah 108. Right. Then you have Inna Allah Yuhibbul Mutawakkilin Inna Allah Yuhibbul Mutawakkilin This comes in Surah Ali Imran 159 one time So I've given in the squares the number of times you see it in the Quran Then you have Inna Allah Yuhibbul Muqsitin Inna Allah Yuhibbul Muqsitin Muqsitin This comes three times um, in the Quran. Then you have Inna Allah Yuhibbul Muttaqeen. Muttaqeen. That comes three times once in Surah Al Imran, two times in Surah Tawbah, Ayah 4 and Ayah 7. Hmm? Then you have Inna this one, this, this, this word, this is the, 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 the seventh word. You don't have as in Allah you have, you have Wallahu you have. Wallahu you have Bussabirin. Wallahu you have Bussabirin. That comes one time in Surah Al Imran. So if you count all this, you have four and two, six and one, seven and one, eight and three, eleven and three, fourteen and one, fifteen. But I said this phrase comes in the Quran sixteen times. So the sixteenth time. Is this phrase in Allah Yuhibbul Ladina and Allah goes on to make a long ayah explaining Allah really loves those of whom who and that is uh, more detailed, right? So it's not as clear as these words. So that's a sentence. But here you will see you have seven words Al Muhsinin, Al Tawabin, Al Mutahirin, Al Mutawakilin, Al Muqasitin, Al Muttaqin. So what do these mean? al muhsinin comes from the word of Ihsan, those people with Ihsan, right? That one is the one that comes the most times, four times. I have spoken about that so many times, I don't think I will need to go into it again, what that means, right? People of Ihsan. Basically, worship. Allah as if you see him. Hmm? This is how Rasulullah defined Ihsan, people of Ihsan. Second one, At-Tawwabin, this is the word of Tawbah. Tawbah, what does Tawbah mean? It doesn't mean what most people, especially in the subcontinent, think that you make, yeah, and you've committed wrong and you're asking for forgiveness. Rather, it means to be returned returned so cosmologically that has great significance it means we reorient ourselves to be back connected to Allah we leave the world and we run back to Allah Tawabin and وَيُحِبُّ الْمُتَتَحِرِينَ what is Tahara Tahara that one is easier these are people who are pure so you do not indulge in anything that is dirty not just keeping your clothes and your surroundings clean Muslim houses are known for their cleanliness but also you don't uh, indulge in gossiping and uh, slandering and mm, eavesdropping and unnecessarily prying into other people's business you know dirty dirty habits Huh? Tahara. Inna Allah yuhibbul 
mutawakkilin this is the word of tawakkul what does tawakkul mean tawakkul means to rely on god rely on allah right these are people they don't ask human beings anything people who have reached the maqam of being a mutawakkil they don't ask people they don't ask they ask allah directly oh allah i don't have something to wear send me some clothes oh allah i have I don't know when my next job will come. Give me a job. Subhanallah. So very high station. Huh? Someone who is, their tawakkul is such a defining characteristic, they are called. Uh, she is a mutawakkil. He is a mutawakkil. Inna Allah yuhibbul mutawakkilin. Then Allah says, Inna Allah yuhibbul muqsitin. This is the word of kist. What does kist mean? uprightness these are people their character is right you can't swear them they won't tell lies they won't cheat they won't bribe you can't make them you can't make them cut corners hmm? their character is upright they will tell the truth even if it means losing their job even if it means going to jail uh, if there's some tyrannical ruler who puts everyone who tells the truth into jail it happens a lot <laughs> they will say no we have qist and qist is the uh, root word for surat al mustaqim this is what we pray for 17 times a day in surat fatiha in our salah we ask in ihdina uh, surat al mustaqim oh allah guide us to the part of mustaqim istiqama uprightness Okay, so the root word, kist, inna allaha yuhibbul muqasiteen. Next one, inna allaha yuhibbul muttaqeen. To have taqwa. Bismillah. Taqwa of Allah. Right? What is taqwa? Again, it is God consciousness. To always be in a state where you are aware of Allah's presence, God consciousness. In Allah yuhibbul muttaqeen. So, muhsinin comes four times, muqsitin three times, muttaqeen three times. Next one, the last of the seven, Allah yuhibbul sabirin. This is the word of sabr. Hmm? Sabr. It means to have fortitude. Some people say patience. I don't think patience is uh, very good translation to be have fortitude, meaning no matter what happens, what happens, you don't get shaken. You don't lose your, your core. You don't lose your foundation, right? So these are people, if you hear of a great earthquake, first thing they say is in the, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Allah calls those people as sabirun. In the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. First time you hear calamity, immediately you don't get shaken. You say, Allah sent us, we will go back to him. Subhanallah. So, Inna Allah. Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin. So these are the seven words. Ihsan, Tawbah, Tawakkul, Tahara, Qist, Taqwa, Sabr. If any of you can, before you die, inshallah, make it a goal that you will live a life such that you have achieved one of the seven words. What does that mean? That means that when you die, so and so will, or people will not remember you as, oh, a great doctor or a professor or an engineer or even a great mother or father or uh, they will remember you by one of these words ahada or so and so uh, was a was a muttaqi of allah so and so was always conscious of allah what is one of the signs of a muttaqi their tongue is moist with the dhikr of allah their hands are busy with the dhikr of allah huh? you will see a tasbih 
around them all the time. Their happiness is to go to the Salah. They will leave their beds at night because they find if they have slept through the night, they feel very sad. They want to be with Allah. Hmm? These are, so you remember them as Hadash, so and so, usually. SubhanAllah, we hear it for women. <laughs> had great taqwa of Allah, mashallah. Hmm? In Allah, uh, so and so was very pure. Uh, she was uh, one of the mutatahireen. In those days, you will hear this. I remember some people in my family, may Allah have mercy on them. I my own grandmother, Allah, she would cook meat for everyone else in the house to eat, but she won't touch it <laughs> because she says it makes her hand smell. And uh, her, you know, her mouth smells, and she doesn't like that smell when she goes to pray. No matter how much she's always beautifully perfumed, alhamdulillah. But for her, that was not clean enough for her. Hmm? So known for their great love of cleanliness, great love of cleanliness. In fact, she was so uh, loved cleanliness so much all her. Her clothes, her possessions, her bedding, her linen, everything was pure white so that uh, she could see the dirt. There was no dirt anyway, but subhanAllah. That was something people, they still remember her for that, subhanAllah. In Allah, you have all mutatahirin. To be a muqsit, to be a muqsit. Someone who has qist. You will hear this a lot about merchants in the old days when they die. They were upright in their behavior. What they owed people they gave, what people owed them uh, they took. Uh, they didn't allow anyone to play around with them, neither did they play around with other people. And their word was like gold. Their word was like gold. If they say something, subhanAllah, that is it. No this and that. It's a great quality, very rare these days. It used to be a quality in our leaders, <laughs> now very, very rare to find. And then Muhsinin, huh? the one that comes a lot, Muhsinin. I've spoken so much about Ihsan, the whole of Irfa is dedicated to re reviving the science of Ihsan. I won't say any more now. So Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for blessing us to share this. We thank our teacher and all in his lineage who have preserved this great teaching from the Quran. And we thank Allah that we received it from them. We, and we ask Allah that the spreading of such a beautiful foundational ilm of the Quran will be a great means for all of you in your journey towards Allah. وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفعنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة